Hey everyone, and welcome back to Terranautical Activity. I was like, what am I even doing right now? I don't understand. All I want to do is play it, though. Uh, I wish there were a random character select. Let's see, I've recently played David Bowie. I've recently played Gordon, and I've probably recently played the tank. I guess I should give Gilead a go again. It's been a little while since I feel like I've played Gilead. So we start with Gilead's gun, and that's a really powerful gun. It's definitely a good setup. Uh, just for doing stuff. Oh god. Okay, you guys are scary. This is just not not a place I want to find myself. Okay, the dodging. The dodging is strong with this one. Uh, I mean, it's automatic. It's... You... Oh wow, that was really dumb damage to take. Could have easily avoided that. Uh, but it's, it's a strong gun. It's fully automatic. Uh, we do have to lead our shots, however. So that provides kind of an interesting difference from usual... In, well, maybe not usual if you're one of the people that uses the crossbow regularly, but different from usual for most weapons. Of course, it still goes exactly where you point it. It's just if an enemy is going to be moving, you actually have to do a little bit of extra anticipation. Which, for a Gilead, maybe, that's not actually something that's important to have to think about. Yeah, fight the boss right away. Five out of six health. We also start with the super weapon. We're going to get a double jump right away, which is awesome. Uh, super weapon. Uh, that's the one I want to use. Laser, melt through stuff pretty quickly. Um, sure, let's melt through you. Yeah, that's all there is to it. May as well use it every so often. It's really powerful. I think it's the best super weapon because it's got its hit scan, it's powerful, it's. Hit scan, by the way, means that it hits the second you're shooting it, it hits at the same instant you shoot it. Uh, it's powerful and it goes through ammo kind of slowly, in all honesty. But lots of damage and stuff, it's it's good. I'm a fan of that super weapon. Okay, I kind of, I mean, I have all of the eyes split up already, and that's not necessarily a good strategy, but it's also not a big deal. First floor bosses are not tough. First and second floor bosses. So we're going to get a bunch of ammo back. We can continuously collect ammo as we keep going through the floor. So uh, having a double jump allows us to get a little bit more uh, mobility immediately, which is nice. Uh, there is some super weapon ammo laying around that I, I could get. And uh, bunny hopping is improved because you get to jump twice. Jumping increases your speed for a little bit after you jump, and then both jumps have that effect, so if you jump twice you get a lot of bunny hopping ability. So it's just one way to go faster instead of getting speed ups. Okay, that handles that. Almost let myself get shot by a Jimbabwe, which something I like avoiding, preferably. Okay. And by the way, I'm totally willing to just swap my weapon out. Uh, M14's fun. Been a little while since I've had that, I feel. Uh, rocket launcher seems kind of bad now, sadly, but maybe I'd give it a go. Let's see what's in the gift shop, though. So that's the laser rifle, which we already have. Rage or Mushroom. Mushroom decreases our size, making our um, hitbox smaller, which is nice. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Rage increases our damage as we kill enemies, but I don't know exactly how it works. I forgot to ask Mike. I'm going to go with Mushroom. Make us smaller. Um, although I feel like Rage might be good in this game. Uh, why didn't I just go back for the mini-boss? And if I get up to 300 bucks, I will totally pick it up. I really don't understand why the laser rifle can appear, even though I've got it, though. I think Mike made an error. Okay, so we're fighting Lilith here, but I want to kill the Gilead first. Okay. Now we can fight Lilith. Very simple pattern once you know it. It took me a while to learn it, but all you do is hold back and one of the side directions, and it'll never hit you with that. And then you just keep aiming at it and hoping for the best. As long as you do it right, of course. Uh, if you let go of a direction, you're totally able to get hit. But if you don't, you should be fine. Unless you're really, really slow, uh, maybe you wouldn't be. But this is not this is not a difficult fight. And we get the rocket launcher as an option. Eh. So I'd rather have assault doubling our damage and fire rate on use. That's pretty good to have. It's Q, not shift. I need to get that through my mind. It's weird. Um, I mean, here's the thing, the rocket launcher is 
dangerous to me. I'm not good with it anymore. It's not as good as it used to be. But I also don't use it much. Uh, it's obviously going to be less fun with Assault, though. And I like, I like the way that Gilead's Gun will work with Assault. So I'm going to stick with Gilead's Gun. Um, that's one thing I've been saying here, though, is that um, I'm still not at the phase where I'm super consistent at winning in this game. And as such, I'm playing more to win while I have fun than I am to do cool, crazy different things. I'll mix it up with characters to keep it mixed up, but uh, I feel like I really need to get better at it. I think I missed some drops in there. No, that was just the uh, power-up that I skipped. So let's get on with our lives. 127 wasn't enough to pick up Rage, and that's okay. So, oh, cool. Boss right away. Doby. Skeleto. Okay, it was bound to happen eventually where I didn't get Doby and the uh, eyes. It was bound to. I can't really say that I am happy about it. But it, I mean, I can't be upset about it either. It's just chance. And I was just getting lucky for a while. So we're going to be able to throw our bombs in straight lines because they're just going to float. They're not going to be affected by gravity. Pretty reasonably not that useful when you think about it. Okay, I thought I was going to get hit there, but I didn't. Okay. Just need to kill Skeleto, and then I'll worry about the spiders. Okay, Skeleto's dead. Spiders, taste it. I'm short like spiders. Okay, we're almost done. Done. Okay, so now he takes Skeleto's soul. Floating bo uh, Why is that text so big? Is it because I'm so small? Does that actually have a bearing here? Because that'd kind of be hilarious. Uh, I need to pay attention as I pick up more things then to see if that isn't an effect that everything is sharing. Okay, I'm trying to focus on killing lectors right now. Blood Moth itself is not that difficult. But when you have a ton of lectors and the Blood Moth trying to kill you, uh, then it gets a little bit difficult, maybe. So with the Blood Moth, you just kind of get to one of the walls as it does its shooting. You go a little bit to the side and you go the other way and then you can just run away. It's not, not a difficult fight. I mean, it never was. And sometimes the shots just disappear for whatever reason. So what is this item going to be? I'm really hoping for a straight nice damage up. That's probably my biggest desire. For sure, I'd say, actually. Oh no, Gangasol, I don't want it. That's the Gangasol. Basically, when we jump, we swap from the ceiling to the floor. And uh, that gives us that kind of mobility, but I don't know that that's necessarily a thing that I want to go through this time. I think I feel good about the way this run's going without it, and it can definitely be disorienting as well as harmful in some cases. But also, it can save you. It's the reason I've won some runs. It's not a bad item. It's a, a questionable item. It's a situational item. I don't think I'm opting for it this time. But I have shown it off a number of times, and some people get motion sick from it. I don't, fortunately, but... You know, that means that sometimes someone might not be able to watch because of it. So this time, I don't want it. I think that I feel pretty good about the way things are going as it stands currently. And I've found that it, it's best with the grenade launcher, I think. That's an opinion. But I think it's definitely... I think it's definitely best with grenade launcher. But I could be wrong. I'm not the best at this game that there's ever been. So you never know. Maybe someone else has figured something out that I just haven't. It's just beyond my natural scope of thought or something. I don't know. See what's in the gift shop. We've got 200 bucks, so we're probably not going to be able to get much of anything. Lightning bolt. I can't even get horseshoe. Zen focus power ups last for longer. Uh, I mean, it's good, so I'll do it. That does seem bigger because I'm smaller. I kind of like that. I really wish I could have gotten horseshoe or lightning bolt. Lightning bolts increase speed and rate of fire, and of course, I really just want the rate of fire up mostly because I, I feel fast enough for now, especially without getting blubber. And then uh, Horseshoe is more loot, so it really pays for itself relatively soon. But 
I feel fine. We're, we're gonna go for it. And we're gonna get something awesome. Alright, third floor is the last floor I'm gonna be fully clearing because it's the last floor where it's not very dangerous to full clear. Starting on the next floor, lava rooms and stuff are actually dangerous. Lava rooms on this floor are very simple. So I'm totally happy to just do them because they're pretty much free loot. I really need some extra damage, I'm gonna say. Chances are we're gonna like fight... Who might we fight? Whom might we fight? Omni is what I'm thinking. Okay, good. I avoided that successfully. Okay. Bomba is dead. And then I want a really good mini boss item. I mean, I always want a really good mini boss item, but you don't understand. I, I really want one. I really need some damage. Gilead's gun does need augmentation to be amazing for the entire game. It used to be like you could pretty much win on base Gilead's gun, but the game's come a long way since when I was amazing. So let's give this boss a go. It's Omni. It's almost like I knew what I was talking about. There isn't another assault, sadly, because I'd love to use it here. It is longer because of my setup. Oh, I tossed a lot in there. Oop. Okay, we killed it just before it started being super threatening, which is good. And I'll take the speed up from it. Oop, okay. <laughs> okay, calm down. Good, I thought I didn't shoot that barrel for a second. I was like, what are you talking about? Paranautical activity. Okay, Gilead, you need to start dying a little quicker. Lecter, who's dead. And then there's just you. I can straight up aim at you. Haven't been using my super weapon much. That probably would have helped me in that Omni fight. Uh, but it's okay because I didn't take damage. I would have felt bad if I did take damage because of not using it, but uh, I, I didn't, so that's really what matters. Okay. Oh, hello, Gilead. That hit me, sadly. Hadn't taken damage in a little while, in all honesty. Which is, it feels good to be playing well enough to not take damage for a while. I mean, that's an obvious statement, I'd imagine. Okay, so the room is clear, and like I said, clearing this floor because there's a lot of potential advantage for that. There's the mini boss, which is good. That's exactly what I needed. Especially if I get a good item from it. Ah, I lost another armor. Okay, what do you want to offer me, mini boss? Ah, oh, you're annoying. This is this boss. It does. It does. It doesn't follow a pattern. I know I don't have a stutter. I just, yeah. Um, not that there's anything wrong if you do have a stutter. It doesn't follow a pattern. It just does what it wants, and that's really annoying because it makes it so hard to aim at with an with a weapon that you don't have hit scan with. So, I mean, we're killing it. It has really low health too. Oh, see, it just hit me because it felt like it. Uh, it's just it sucks. I hate it. Lightning Bolt! Okay, well, I got a $400 item for free. I'm pleased with what we have here. So more fire rate, more speed. I'm not feeling super duper crazy way too fast yet. I still really want more damage though. I do not think for a second that I've gotten over that desire. More fire rate is sort of more damage, but I still have to, I have to hit just as often as opposed to being able to miss more shots and still do the same amount of damage. So there's, there's a trade-off that is being made by getting fire rate instead of damage. Can I walk under this? Oh my god, I can walk under this. That's amazing. <laughs> being short has its perks, at least in this game. Okay, good. That went perfectly. Darn, I missed that one. Okay, you're alive and you're not able to move. Great. I'm itchy. So we're going to find the gift shop somewhere around where we are. Just wanted to check for a special room, or not special rooms, uh, drops that I missed. Okay, good. I needed to blow that up. I don't know if we lost 
any enemies, or if we killed any enemies, really. I don't lose enemies, because uh, I want them dead. See, damage up is really important, whereas fire rate up's really good, so that we can we can fire more shots in the same time frame, which means we can miss some and still be killing things just as quickly. It's just that I like those shots that we do hit with to do more damage. I like to have to hit less in order to succeed in life. As opposed to having more opportunities to miss. It's a difference. Okay, we should be able to manage this pretty well. Just gotta kill this Lector. Maybe. Maybe if I point at it a little longer, it'll die. That's a good philosophy in this game. Maybe if I point at it long enough, it dies. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Okay, take that, get that. My armor is finally running low. Which I don't like, but I'm gonna manage. I'm gonna win this run, okay? I'm gonna win this very run. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting at me, at least. Because then if you stop shooting at me, you can't even shoot me if you want to. Okay, the Tenchi is going to die, and then the Lecter is the last enemy. That's actually surprising. Die. Right now. Okay. Gift shop, yeah, should be off of this room, and it was. Oh no, that was a little scary. So those Gileads should be weak from the explosion, I think, but it appears they're not. It's cool, they're still dead. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, I got armor for that, that's good. And all the shots are gone, 337, that might be enough for something I want. Mega bullets is a damage up. Shield Lover or Flip Flops. Flip Flops makes me a little bit more immune to lava, giving me two seconds rather than half, or rather than one second of invincibility between hits from lava. Shield Lover gets me more armor drops and less heart drops. I'm gonna take Flip Flops. They used to be overpowered, but now they're not. Now they suck. It's okay. So let's get on with our lives, go to the boss room once again, and get to the next floor where suddenly I have to actually pick my rooms carefully if I want to have a really good chance of winning. Alright. I can look into the inner workings of this elevator. Such fancy. Okay, no thank you. Definitely no thank you if I can help it. Which it seems like I can. Alright, this room looks like the best room. I'm fast enough to get out of- oh, you jerks. I was supposedly fast enough to get out of the way here. Alright, bombs, bombs are good. That's a stopwatch to slow enemies. And my jumping- ah, oh, this is an unpleasant room. Okay, super... Oh, I... oh, no! Ah, God, I need to I need to switch the hotkey, because now I just wasted this assault that I've been saving for so long. Oh, well. Kill the mini-boss really, really quickly. Kill the Gilead really, really quickly. And then shoot in the general direction and hope it dies. Uh, we get spring to jump higher, which can even be a negative to uh, make bunny hopping a little worse. Still too late. I made the mistake. It's done. We're going to be out of assaults. Okay, that doesn't seem like the way I want to go, honestly. I may as well take that. Doesn't look like I want to go that way. Doesn't look like there's a reason to go that way when I can just go this way, and this way is not the lava room. Alright. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, we'll toss another bomb in there. Kill a handful of the scorches. I'm pretty upset that I made that mistake, but really, it's just, I'm, I don't know, I want switch weapons to be Q, and I can rebind this myself. I can. 
and I should. It's just that I haven't. So this room was pointless? Yeah. It seems that the lava rooms are inescapable. Can you die? Okay, we jump to here. And we can kill the Gilead. It sucks when lava rooms are inescapable. I was like, eh, yeah, here, have fun. Okay, wait, I kind of want that. That gives me a full charge for my super weapon. Which means, I saw those shops here, by the way. Which means I can fully use my super weapon, then use that, get 100 more ammo at the moment, 100. Uh, maybe we get more later. Can't have up to 200, I believe. Uh, you can't get that item more than once. Or if you could, maybe it doesn't stack. Probably doesn't stack. So, we can get up to 200 charge, but that's, that's irrelevant at the moment. We can get 100 more charge out of our super weapon in one room. Which could be very valuable. I would have to say. Okay, 216, 218. Rage is another option again. Naval training. I don't know what that does. But I want to. If I can save that up, I will. Um, okay, so Poseidon only has a 20% chance to drop the Trident now. And since I don't have Magnet, I'm really hoping that he doesn't drop it. I just want it dead. I want an amazing random item to be truly amazing. Okay. Whoa. Cool it. I have lost all of my armor finally. Which is not good. No Trident Iron Heart. Oh, God. So, now we have uncapped health. See, I have 7 out of 6 now, because I picked up that heart. That's really good. So I'd like to save up 400 and see what naval training does, because uh, it might actually be something I hate, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go collect health now. So now health and armor are equally valuable. I'm glad I didn't pick up the... Um, thing. What is the thing? The... Uh, shield lover. I'm really glad I didn't take that because that could have been It would have been useless at this point. That's the moral of the story Oh, yeah, I'll do this room Okay, I didn't need to do this room for any reason uh, I did get mega bullets, which is a small damage up. It's a small one, but it is a damage up nonetheless I would like a stronger one but Iron Heart could come a long way. It really could make a big difference in this run. Of course, it also might not matter, because at some point later in the game, by just a little bit, a floor or two even, uh, I'm going to start hemorrhaging health. Did I kill everything? Oh, I did. But I want Assault back. Because uh, that... Let's not make that mistake again. Okay. Wait, I've... Oh, I'm saving up for the shop. That's right, that's what I'm doing. I'm like, why am I doing all these rooms? I've been to all of the special rooms. Yeah, I want to get more money. More cash money. If I can get to 400, I can get naval training, and I don't know what it'll do. What it'll, does, what it'll do. Eh, may as well chuck some extra bombs in every so often. I murdered a lot of things with those bombs. With that bomb. Okay, 13 out of 6 health. So now health ups also don't matter, except that some of them give filled health ups, so that matters. Uh, that's lava, so let's avoid that. That's not lava, so let's not avoid this. Simple enough desire. Okay, how about you all come through up and over. Up, oh, I shot myself. Essentially, I shot myself. I didn't actually shoot myself. But you know what I'm saying. Okay. Come at me, but don't hit me. Okay, the money situation is getting there. Getting there quickly-ish. I missed a heart? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yes, it is. Okay, I got it. That's a lava room. 
are all the rooms that remain lava rooms? That's the question here. That's a lava room. This is not a lava room. And this is a relatively loot potential room. High potential for loot room. I'm gonna have to do lava rooms, I don't want to. Ooh, that was amazing. Thank you, small hitbox, for saving me. Because I was pretty boned there. I would say, at least. Okay, 365, $1 for every day of your average year. Is that a lava room? Are they all lava rooms? Is this what you're putting me through? I want to know what it does this badly. Alright, fine. By the way, the timer doesn't reset, I don't believe, between your invincibility on lava. It better be worth it. 74. Uh, what is that? Runner. Super increased speed. Yeah, no thank you. Where's my battery laying around? That's not it. Because I'm just going to use that. Uh, Q... And take that and be on my way to the next thing. Then I can use my laser rifle to clear these lava rooms, hopefully. Best be worth it. Oh my god, every time. Press the wrong thing. Oh, and I think I just ran through my ammo twice as fast in the thing. Oh god, I'm so salty that I'm bad at using controls right. 396 and that didn't give me what I needed. Alright, let's do it. Should be able to clear this out with uh, 11 seconds remaining on this. And there's definitely enough... I have enough money now. Watch naval training be a huge speed up. That's okay. Discovery is as important as winning. What? Okay, it doesn't look like I care about anything else in here. 9 out of 6 health, that's not very good. Which is funny when you think about having more than max health not being good. But really. So let's see, what are my options here? My options are a stopwatch, so I'll take that. Especially because it's easy to get. Oh, I still need to go this way. Okay. Naval training. Hopefully it's like aerial mobility. Damage and fire rate up. Alright! I like it. Okay. Onwards and upwards. In fact... Okay, we're on the fifth floor. We have the aesthetic change. And some stuff gets more threatening. Okay, I think I'm going this way. Yep. Found the uh, mini-boss. Pleasing. Nope, Genghis, you're not allowed. You're not invited. I don't like you. Can you die right now? Thanks. Alright, mini boss, give me something good. Alright, the spider should not be very difficult. My damage is pretty good now. That's not untrue. So we just manage this. Kill the Jimbabwe's along the way. Maybe. Almost got myself hit by that one. No, you stop it. There's some drops, another battery. Uh, I'm just going to use that. Horseshoe, more drops. More loot. Uh, then that's Q. Let me take this. Okay, probably not about that room right now. Does this room have anything to offer me? No. Unless this room is, yeah, this room's less exciting. So let's do this room. <laughs> oh, wow, I pushed that Gilead and didn't get myself killed for it. Okay, so 
torch. Oh darn, I missed the barrel when it would have killed the jerk. Good. We still man. I'm, I'm surprised we managed this room without taking any damage. But we did. So that's really what counts, is that it happened at all. I'm surprised, but we got some health out of it. Okay, same room. Let's pull it off the same way. Uh, so far, pretty good. I killed the Scorch, which is a big step forward. Okay, Ceiling Monkey, you're my fear. You are my only fear. Come on. Come on, I don't want to be this close to Gilead, man. I don't want it. Uh, uh, okay, now die. Thank you. I'm glad we had this chat. Yeah, not too excited about that room. This room... I'm even less excited about, however. Alright... Once again, I pulled that off. What kind of wizard am I? Did I get hit there? I can't actually tell because I don't know how much armor I had. I didn't notice. Fortunately, this room does not have ceiling monkeys, so it's uh, not as bad as it could be. Or maybe it does, and it's just hidden under the thing for now. Alright. Uh, that one's too hard to manage, though. Can't really go there. This room doesn't excite me at all. I don't think it's necessary to do. This room's really bad. Yeah, you both need to die. Okay. Got through that room. It, it's threatening. Okay, there's the gift shop, and I have a fair amount of money. I am getting more loot because of the horseshoe. Uh, I am losing health. Not slowly, or not quickly, but not slowly either. And that was that room went kind of badly because I got myself stuck in weird situations. Oh wow, I almost got myself shot. Okay, gift shop for me has sale, which I don't know. Mystery box, which I would love. Anchor, which I'm tired of seeing. We've got to buy sale though. Increased midair speed. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't need to do this room. But I do want the mystery box, so let's do the room. Wow, this is like bunny hopping on crack. Or maybe this is how bunny hopping used to feel. I can't remember at this point. It's been so long since I've known the caress of bunny hopping. Seriously, though, increased mid-air speed. That's kind of what I expected. Like, increased aerial mobility. Maybe that was through speed, or maybe that was through control. But you have a really high aerial control. I can't imagine having more. So this, this is pretty much how it should have been. What I would have expected. Alright. I move so fast in the air. Oh wow, I did perfectly kill that Gilead, basically. Maybe not exactly, but it was pretty much perfect. Alright, ceiling monkey, bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Is not too hard because I can't handle you. Cool. Any drops I missed? Yeah, right there. Okay. This room doesn't seem too bad. Okay, let's just chuck a bomb in there. Did I kill the ceiling monkey with that? I think I did. Nothing more pleasing than knowing that you killed the ceiling monkey with something. You didn't even have to go through strife for it. Uh, what's alive? It's you. You. Alright, so we've handled all of that. Bombs are a pretty valuable asset that I underutilize, absolutely. Okay, there it is exactly as I wanted it to be. Uh, where's the ceiling monkey? There isn't one for this room. That's surprising. Not that I mind. Don't get me wrong. It's just different when there isn't one in a room uh, at this point. 
and especially as we get to the next floor and floor after. So this should get us to uh, 200, and I mean, so should the boss fight, if this doesn't. Okay, so let's go buy the mystery box and then handle life. Seriously, these... the bunny hops are insane. Alright, mystery box. Poison bombs. Okay, that means that my bomb usage is even more justified. Which is fine by me, honestly. So this is runner, and that's the only power up in here, I believe. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get a damage up for this. Thank you. Yeah, let's check a bomb out. Give it a little bit of poison. I'm, oh god, I'm so fast when I jump. Bunny hopping, bunny hopping, why are you so good? The homing shots can't keep up with me or the Banshee. And the Banshee is like caught in a... Caught in a whirlwind. No, I, we're not going there. Uh, and it can't do anything because I'm so fast. I'm just escaping it and it can't start an attack chain. Because it's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I can't catch this dude a little bit. So that was the derpiest fight. Uh, by the way, don't use Golden Heart with um, Iron Heart because you lose health. You go back down to 6 out of 6 in my case. So now I have more damage. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I didn't buy the Anchor. Could have. Maybe I should have because then I would have gotten even more. Uh, ability to bunny hop like crazy. So can of beans actually makes it so that I can't seem to damage things close up very easily. So I'm not about that right now. Oh, yeah, I'll do this one. Remember, we just picked up another damage up, which is valuable. Uh, I would like to um, gain three hundred dollars. Well, I guess two hundred and forty, two hundred fifty-five. So that I can get two, three hundred, and buy uh, Kiss of Death for more damage. More damage is exactly what I need with my life. It is my primary desire. I feel like I got a fire rate up that I don't remember getting. I'm not going to complain, but I really do. Rooms like that one, very good money earning ventures. We gain like fifty-six dollars there. Okay, it doesn't have acid, and I guess I'm really just. Kind of looking for whatever rooms aren't the most threatening rooms in the in the game. Like this is the same room I just did basically. I think I got the ceiling monkey with that bomb. Nope. Fortunately, I also seem to get like any flying things pretty much. So that was great. That was a great bomb. Okay, uh, this one didn't seem to give me as much loot as the last one did. But I am slowly gaining health. So I guess it's really not that bad. Then again, I'm at almost $200, so maybe it did give me just as much. Okay, this is an easy room, and it links me to the boss. Which is perhaps... I guess I'd have to guess that it's the anglerfish. Ooh, haha! -ha. I wonder if I can get hit by those. Yeah, it's the anglerfish. Almost always is. It's not always, though. It is not a 100% guarantee. There are definitely three bosses. I didn't fight Spega, and I could have. Uh, which I would have preferred to this, because this uh, is going to give me the Blowfish, which is a damage down, and I don't want a damage down. Even for the extra poison damage, I don't think... It worked for me last time, and it's going to work for me this time. That's the idea. Not the guarantee. Alright, you're dead. Did you give me enough money? No. Right, I said I wasn't taking that. Guess I better commit to the things I say. Okay. The Gilead's gun for the win, really. I'm surprised we've kept it this long, but I haven't been offered anything else. And it is better than the M14 if you can aim it right, because it does more damage, really. It just does. Is that another assault power up? Because if it is, you best be believing that I'm going to fix my mistakes this time. Yeah. We're going to have so much damage when we use this. Okay, Q is power up. Remember? Remember me? You know how Q is power up? Keep that in mind. Okay, there we go. Bombs for the ceiling monkeys is smart. 
naval training is doing good for me. Oh, the fire rate up was from that. Ankh is a period of invincibility. Remember I have Zen Focus, so it's a longer period of invincibility, no less. Uh, but I think I'm okay. Alright, that hits us 300, which means I can go buy my damage up. Balls to the wall. Just running through all of those traps. Like a wild man. So kiss of death for more damage. And then I want to find the mini-boss, ideally. If possible. Okay. I'm going to stop shooting because some people don't like the flashing lights from that particular weapon. Uh, so I don't need to go this way, unless this way is less appealing. Kind of is, but it also has more potential outlets. I mean, there's no ceiling monkey, so it's manageable. This is one of the least threatening lava slash acid rooms. And I still have the flip-flops, too. Why don't I kill you? Perfect. Grab this stuff. Okay, so now I check... Oh, that's not the right way. Check to see that this does not link up to where I want it to, I don't believe. So we go here here and see that this is practically a dead end. It doesn't have the Nazi dudes though, so it's not that big a deal. I know that that room is easier, but let's go through this one. Oh, I thought I had that on the ceiling monkey, that is. I like how the ceiling monkey sent the bomb dude flying into the ceiling. Mike left them having crazy physics because he thought it was funny. And I think it is funny. He's not wrong. Okay, so... There's the mini-boss. I only have 66 bucks. That's surprising, honestly, because I've been killing a lot of things. And picking up all their loot. Wow, I'm really powerful right now. 28 out of 6 health, 5 armor, that's 33. Good shape. Good damage on this mini boss too. I think that the use of bombs has also really benefited me compared to my normal play. Okay, now I just got some bombas. Easy peasy. Compass shows me the full map. That's really good, especially going into the last floor where all I really care about going to is the boss room. Oops, I just jumped onto that because I was... Yeah. Still, I showed good movement getting out of it, like uh, the perfect turn and then whip back. I think that just, I mean, it shows that I've got my sensitivity set up right. It took me a little bit of uh, messing around to get it right on this computer, but I think it's, it's totally right. Alright, if things are on the way to the boss, of course we'll go to them. Wow, this is the easiest way to get to the boss room. This is not a bad room either, this is a really easy room. So I'm pretty pleased with this. Uh, this is going to be hopefully, ideally, probably a victory. I mean, my setup's powerful. It's just a matter of can I shoot fast enough to get through and do all the damage I need to. Uh, yes. I'm just going to stand here while I do this and hope that no shots hit me, but we're, we're getting a lot of health done right now. Shoot through the Skeletos. Doing enough damage that this should be totally easy. Let's get some poison stuff in there. Skeleto needs to die. Alright. Can you not hit me like that? Okay, we're back to normal fire rate. Start chucking in bombs ever so often. Okay. Bunch of eyes, they shouldn't be that bad. Uh, this is where poison's helpful is because you can start killing the boss while you're still fighting the waves. But um, I've decided it's more valuable to just kill the boss than fight the waves. Which, questionable. 
working. However, I have a lot of health I can tank through this. Die before the last next wave spawns. Okay, see? Works out. Poison probably would have been a smarter thing to have, though. I just like not taking things sometimes. Be like, hey, I'm a show-off, even though I'm not ready to win this game every time yet. That's just how I am. Oh, I'm out of bombs. Perfect, too, pretty much. Perfectly out of bombs right in time. Alrighty then, and that is another victory, momentarily. There we go, another victory. I beat Paranoical Activity again. I'm getting pretty good at this, again. So, uh, as usual, I will let the credits roll. I'll say thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.